Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I've got a very strange light coming but unfortunately you know is weather is as it is here in Scotland so we have to cope with it. Uh, thank you so much for all the DMs. I was very very surprised and I actually shouldn't be surprised that uh, my video about the endometriosis uh, was actually the most popular on my channel and I get so many messages from you. Uh, messages uh, saying that you either been diagnosed or uh, you struggling with endometriosis like for many years like I used to do. I'm very very sorry guys that it's happening to us but I want you to know it's not your fault and you know I'm here for you with all my heart seriously and I don't know why I'm even surprised because according to the statistics uh, one out of ten women which we see in the streets already have endometriosis so statistically it's a very big spectrum so I shouldn't be even surprised but uh, thank you for all the messages and everything. Uh, this video is dedicated to Anna, who thinks that she might have endometriosis. And she asked me, is it any symptoms to look uh, for and uh, how that she will know that she got it or not. So this video, Anna, is for you. What are the symptoms and how do you know you got it? Basically, if you self-diagnosed, uh, it's a little bit tricky because every time when I self-diagnose myself uh, it's turned out that I'm dying on cancer as you know and many others know you know when you google it it's just I don't know how but this is what it is so it's very tricky <laughs> and and the mature symptoms are very similar to other symptoms and sometimes you can have another disease alongside with endometriosis which makes diagnosis even more difficult seriously but there are some common symptoms you should be uh, looking for and uh, there are the signs you might have endometriosis so number one of the symptoms of endometriosis is a pain and you cannot mistake this with any other pain because the pain is just horrendous if you've got a friend who's got endo and you think they exaggerate i can tell you they don't the pain is just so overwhelming and it's just so horrible you cannot mistake it with anything so basically the pain comes uh, well in my experience of 20 years of living with this horrible thing uh, pain comes like the, the most um, the most horrible pain comes uh, with a period and is the pain on the lower back is the pain of all your uh, uterus and it's the lower tummy lower tummy and the back pain basically and the pain is so horrible that it's just literally like somebody is pulling your intestines and twisting it seriously it's very horrible some women describe it this pain as the pain comparable to childbirth i don't know i don't have children yet so i, I cannot tell but it's very very horrible seriously i remember uh, and and you never know when it comes because it comes just like this so that was me in my work walking and you know smiling and all of a sudden <laughs> And Yola had to literally sit down and you know uh, rest and everyone was like but a minute ago you've been okay and I was like yeah this is what it happens so a lot of women taking days off uh, when they've got the period and because it's just impossible to function it really is and uh, well you can function with painkillers but I don't really think that's uh, that's the solution because uh, me myself i've been addicted on codeine for some time because if you're ending up in the hospital and back and you know then you need painkillers they put you on very heavy painkillers and uh, codeine is not actually the strongest one uh, the doctors prescribe for people with endometriosis for girls with endometriosis so you if you've got it you very likely try the tramadol and other horrible painkillers and it's also pain uh, when you're going to the toilet so when you pee and poo the pain can uh, be uh, you know very unpleasant and painful sex seriously this is something absolutely horrible it's just you cannot mistake it with anything so if you've got like the sharp pain 
and if you've got the painful periods to the point that you cannot function and if you've got the painful uh, sex then girl very likely you've got endo the other symptoms very very common is uh, just before your period you uh, feeling not well like you've got the nausea uh, you you sometimes vomit even basically that's one of the symptoms too uh, a constipation as well uh, before period uh, that was the sign I used to know that I've got a period because I had horrible constipation. So two days before period, I was just in and out, in and out, in and out to the toilet. Now, when my endo is into remission and I don't have it, thankfully, anymore, I, I cannot even predict my, my uh, periods because you know before it used to be pain and constipation so yola was like mm, in two days i'm gonna have period but now it's just like hmm it comes <laughs> but i really wish everyone everyone been healthy and you know never experienced this horrible things because it's just we don't deserve it girl trying for the baby and you, you cannot uh it might be because you've got endometriosis and when it comes with all the symptoms which I mentioned before it's very likely you have endo. Uh, a lot of um, girls been diagnosed uh, actually uh, from their uh, gynecologist when they trying to get pregnant and they couldn't that was the the moment where they've been diagnosed with endometriosis so that's one of the symptoms as well and the last symptom and we're going back to our period because it's very very important is uh, when you have like very long uh, heavy periods that might be a sign of endometriosis as well i remember mine was very 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 long and very heavy to the point i have to go to the toilet like four times a day seriously and i feel uh, very very tired uh, fatigue and you know i i just didn't have any energy at all uh, the blood um, it's a lot of um, mixed things some girls uh, don't even see the changes in their blood i saw in mine so it was like a lot of uh, old blood in the beginning and the blood clots so uh, look for th this kind of signs uh, as well and uh, joint pains sometimes uh, endometriosis comes with uh, pains in other uh, sides and parts of our body plus endometriosis uh, can also spread my did to my lungs and to my intestines but that's uh, actually another requested so summing up if you've got a very painful period if you've got the uh, pain uh, during the intercourse or pain urinating or when you're going to the toilet if you've got a very uh, big sharp uh, like pain you know uh, before your period or during your period if your periods are very long and very heavy it's very likely you might have endo plus if you are bloated as well because endometriosis unfortunately comes with endo belly which is absolutely horrible really is but that's the subject for another video so i hope this help and uh, if you want to find out more just google endometriosis uh, quiz and there's a lot of quizzes out there which uh, can uh, you know you answer the question basically and they, they're going to tell you how likely is it that you've got it or not and most importantly please 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 go to your doctor and talk about it please don't just leave it like this or if you suspect that you've got it please don't just leave it go and have a check okay thank you so much for watching and i will see you in next monday i love you all bye